So, Kamel Moten, Floyd Mayweather the Prodigy, announced that he will be back on May 4th on Canelo Alvarez undercard against Munguia. Kamel Moten is the hottest prospect in the game at the moment in time. He's also the youngest. He's only 17 years old. However, he possesses the skill set of a 27 years old. I mean, this kid has it all. He is special and then some. Kamel Moten fights like he has three arms and two brains. For a 17 years old, he's definitely a generational talent. I don't see nobody really beating Carmel in the future, but himself, as long as he stays focused, the sky is the limit. These top of athletes like Floyd Mayweather, Crawford, Devin Haney, Carmel Moten, they really only have one opponent, and that's the man in the mirror. If they can get control of themselves, if they can beat that man in the mirror, then you will see the reflection of 50 and 0. Without a doubt, Kamel Moten, he has that Sugar Ray Leonard in him. He got that Mike Tyson shit. He got that Floyd Mayweather shit. He got the it factor to be a great fighter. Kamel Moten reminds me of like a combination of Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, Devin Haney, Gamboa, and Andre Ward. He's an aggressive counterpuncher. There are certain things I see him do where I'm like, man, that reminded me of Floyd. Or... Either Devin Haney, the way he throws the left uppercut. Even Gamboa, the way he let them sit combinations flow. He's aggressive, short, compact, just like Mike. And obviously, he's an aggressive counterpuncher by nature, just like Andre Ward and all of the other fighters I named. So you best believe Kamara Moten is the truth. He has a teaspoon of everything. I'm talking about a teaspoon of all of the grace combined. That's how he's looking right now at 17 years old. I was highly impressed during Kamel Moten last fight against Cuba. He fought a guy that was one of his rivals in the amateurs. They had some type of history together where Cuba felt like he was better than Moten. So for Kamel Moten at this stage of his career to be fighting a prospect like that, who has more experience than him, Kamel was 2-0 and Cuba was 7-0. Because Carmel was so young, from the outside looking in, it wasn't wise to put Carmel Moten in a fight like that right now. However, Carmel Moten wanted to settle the score. This guy challenged him, so Carmel gave him exactly what he was asking for. It was highly impressive to see a guy this young go eight rounds with an experienced fighter who is more experienced than him and display that type of skill. I'm not exaggerating when I say Kamel Moten possesses a skill set right now at 17 years old, more than some of the champions in boxing today. Now, I'm not saying Kamel Moten is perfect or none. I'm just saying this kid is special for his age because the skill set he possesses is more than some of these champions in boxing today. That's how good he is. Obviously, during the Cuba fight, there are certain mistakes he made. Naturally so, he's only 17. He's supposed to be making these type of mistakes, like standing tall at some points being too relaxed instead of bending down to slip the overhand right and counter it with his own overhand right and things of that sort. He lost focus here and there being too relaxed and too confident. That's how he ended up getting caught with a few shots that he shouldn't have gotten caught with. As his career develops though, He's going to gain more concentration, naturally so. The Cuba fight was a great learning experience at this stage of his career. And Kermel Moten is only going to get better and better and better and greater from here. So I can't wait to see his fight on May 4th. I'm really a fan of how Mayweather promotions are moving Kermel Moten and keeping him active. Hopefully after Kermel Moten has a fight on May 4th, they will return him back on June 15th or 22 on Javante versus Frank Martin undercard. I like a lot of things about Kamel Moten, no diddy, but I really like how Kamel Moten is staying active. He's gaining a lot of hype, and believe it or not, he's already more famous than some champions. 
So can you just imagine when he gets on that level, how big he's going to be in the sport of boxing? That's why I said the sky is the limit. And because Kamel Moten is a fighter on the coincidental list, even though he has a lot of fans, at 17 years old, would you guys believe Kamel Moten has even more haters? We know what time it is. If you don't have no haters, you ain't popping. And we know the haters pay the bills more than the fans. So he's going to be all right. On the other hand, the haters are going to be tight for quite some time. Hating on a kid doing the right thing, making his dreams become a reality. I mean, y'all couldn't press the brakes on the hate till Kermel Moten at least becomes 18. The crazy part about it all, Kermel Moten has a style that's going to make him the most exciting fighter in boxing. So what are you guys hating on? Are you guys hating on him because y'all could foresee Kermel Moten whooping all of y'all future favorite fighters? All because he has the wrong complexion. Furthermore, since we're talking about prospects, I do want to give a shout out to a very high prospect. He's not 17, but he's only 19. And that's Abdullah Mason. This kid is special as well. I had to give him an honorable mention. I'm going to do a video on the hottest 10 prospects in boxing today, inshallah. So be on the lookout for the cookout. Nevertheless, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as -salam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. He, he's the next Kermel. That's what he is, the next Kermel. Hey, Kermel, Kermel is fighting someone who was 7-0 in his third pro fight. So since he's on the fast track, when do you think he's going to be fighting for a world title? Again, I said it and I'm going to keep on saying it. A year. Within a year. Yeah. yeah. Bro, this dude is boxing like elite level guys right now and, and holding his own. You ask the guys. I mean, he'll tell you the guys. Run off the list of guys who you box. Yeah, I've been in there with everybody. I've been in there with Tank, Shakur. Just recently, like last week, I sparred with Richard Hitchens. I've been in there with Kenneth Sims. Uh, Rocky Hernandez, Luis Ramirez, you know, all, the, all the top guys around my weight, I've been in there with them, uh, and it's been great work for them. <laughs> and, and major respect to you for that, but the letter, Floyd And at he's 19, 17 years old. That's what I'm saying, Floyd at 18, 19 was in the Olympics, he wasn't trying to fight for a world title. That's, yeah, that's, bro, it's that's like, crazy it's, in a good like, 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 you know, the times are different, right. his errors are different, it's like, he has a tremendous amount of experience because of his amateur pedigree. It's like, it's always when you fighting at that high level, like that, you know, he's traveled all these different countries. He's fought all these different styles. It's like, so you don't need 18, 19 fights like when Ford was coming up. You don't, right, you don't right, need that. Right.